Welcome back everybody to Rasputin Gaming's presentation of Dragon Age Inquisition. This is a double platinum playthrough because you can get the platinum on both PS3 and PS4 games. So um, I currently already possess the platinum on the PS4 and so we are playing this on the PS3. If you remember where we left off last time, we dealt with this ast astrium, um, and we solved it, and then I had to cut out in a rush. So from here, we are going to, um, let's open up the map, show you what we're doing. Um, we need to head off this way. We want to try to get to this camp, um, and then eventually we want to talk to uh, the horse master, Dennett. He's there. Here's the last astrium that we need to get. Um, there is some fighting, you can see, um, and we are low on potions. So we'll have Solus drink one, and we will have Varric drink one. And then we'll get on the way. So our tank, we're just going to have to leave her alone. We're going to have to make sure that um, when we can, we pop one of those uh, rock armor potions uh, to help her out. There's another codex unlocked, Crystal Grace. And make sure that you head over here. If you head off to the left, you'll run into some encounters you're really not prepared for at this point if you're in a similar shape to, that I am in at the moment. Um, so you want to head back um, along the edge here. Best back through the breach. Oh, there's some loot we left from last time. Look at that. It's okay. We'll leave the worn helmet there. Another reason we need to um, find a camp. We actually should head back to Haven, to be honest with you, um, so that we can unass some of this um, inventory that we're sporting. I'd forgotten that that was the case of what we had going on, so let's jump on the quest map, world map, Haven, and let's travel back to Haven. So we can get some business done with the blacksmith, and we can um, pop off on um, on uh, the merchant, sell a bunch of crapiosis that we're carrying around with us fucking supply wagon that we are at the moment. So again, claiming area landmarks helps in a lot of things. We want to try and work on uh, getting as many perks as we can. Um, there's only 20 available in the game, by the way. And I should probably be giving you some advice on which ones are best. So um, we will do that um, right after I ask you to friend and follow us on Twitch. Much appreciated. Um, like our videos, subscribe on YouTube. And um, what you want to do with the perks, generally what I find um, kind of how I, I build them is I, um, because we got the first perk early, you want to grab that 5%. Um, experience boost. It's If you don't grab it first, then don't grab it at all because it's uh, later on it just is not very beneficial. And we're going to reach the level cap anyways. It just allows us to reach it sooner and be a little bit stronger earlier in the game like we'd want to be. Um, but generally what I um, 
try and do is get underworld knowledge, advanced focus, master focus, true grit, and more healing potions. Generally, those are the five that you want to get first, followed by arcane knowledge, optimal cutting, so you get more out of your um, the weeds that you pick up, the flowers, the, the flora, um, deft hand, fine tools. That's uh, a good one for unlocking stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to. Nobility knowledge, uh, the short list, and uh, the last four I recommend are history knowledge, antivan tailoring, tempered glass flasks, and exclusive training. And then that leaves you six um, points that you can spend where you'd like to spend them or how you'd like to spend them. So um, you saw me grab at first uh, Massage's method that gives you the 5% increase from killing foes because we were early on when we did that. So let's come over here to where we can buy and sell. So the tactician's renewal, that's pretty decent uh, later on if you need to switch stuff that you, you want. Sell the first three. Uh, we need to put this ring of uh, armor penetration on Cassandra. Uh, I forgot to do that earlier. So these are upgrades. We're leaving the Buga Palma. We won't be selling anything down here at this end other than um, the valuables. Prayer stones you don't want to sell yet. All right. And you can pretty much sell all these items. I'm trying to look through here. Uh, Tower she will probably want to keep um, Claymore. So most of these things look like um, what we need to go ahead and sell. Just because we're doing a lot of looting. Some of these we can keep for later uh, and for other companions as we find them. So let's look at our weapon first. So we can do some weapon modification here. And um, so let's, uh, the Wrath of Lovias. So um, you can see the only thing we can have left to put in here is a rune. So let's go ahead and select that. And then if we go down here um, to rune, there's uh, it's red. So no rune upgrades available. thing that's kind of funky the way they set this up is you got craft weapons and then you have modify armor. <laughs> uh, the ones that are opposite, the ones that are near each other. So it's a little bit weird that way. Um, so just taking a quick look through here. So 
So this fire wound can only go into, you can see, non-staff weapons as a wound. And we need um, six fire essence. We don't have any. And a blank rune stone. We don't have any of that either. Um, so one of the things we'll want to look at is um, possibly be uh, building this kite shield for Cassandra. It generally should be better, but let's take a look. I'll show you how we're going to do all this. I'll walk you through it before I just automatically build stuff. Helps if I stop where I'm supposed to start. So um, <clears throat> right now we have this uh, Tevinter Tower Shield and then a Reinforced Shield. So uh, we can't equip this one yet, but let's take a look. We have to be level 9 for it. So we can go back and let's take a look at, uh, compare this one. Now you should be fairly confident that in, uh, let me not. the kite shield will be better. So let me turn that so you can read the... So we have the front, which is empty. And we have so we have two spots. You have the armor spot and you have the utility spot. So first we'll select the armor slot. So if you put this in it, you can see in a primary slot, it's low armor rating damage against cold. Um, Drake stone is, helps you defend against fire, iron against electricity, onyx against soul, summer stone, um, fire. So we're going to use some Drake Stone. And then in the Utility slot, we don't have enough for um, the blue Vitriol, and that would give us one more to our strength, which is pretty nice. Uh, the Drake Stone gives us one to a Constitution, so more health points. That's nice. Um, iron plus one to Strength. Onyx plus one to Strength. And Summer Stone, we can't use. So I'm going to put uh, the Drake Stone and try and build up a little more uh, health points for her and not worry as much about the damage. So there we go. And we'll say we're going to craft the item. Enduring Kite Shield is fine with me for a name. to the inventory to Cassandra weapons and there it is the enduring kite shield so we can take a look at it there we go we will equip it because it's definitely better than what we're rocking <coughs> the reinforced shield so in this game it's one of the few games that I found that um, crafting stays at least as good as the drop set you find. Um, there are some cases where it's not the case, but you can definitely uh, help yourself by um, crafting in this game. So you can see on Solus's staff we have an empty grip slot and an empty rune. We don't have a rune we can build, so let's look at what we can build in the way of grips. So that's back right here in the craft weapons. Curve staff grip. All the other grips are um, for Bianca or something else. So if we look at this, Utility slot and an offense slot. So with two cloth over here, so let's look at what cloth we have. So if you put cotton in there, um, you can put in the willpower. That's 
uh, decent. Um, the high ever weave is magic and willpower. So you can see we get plus two magic plus one willpower. That's really good. Lambs wool just the plus two magic. Cotton plus three willpower. Plaid weave magic. You can read it as we go. Um, velveteen we need for our um, requisitions. So I'm going to put silk and I'm just going to go with the magic. I want to save um, the other one up here. This high ever weave uh, for something else. We don't get a lot of those so early on and it's soulless not our main character. So for here we need two leather. So you can see if we had Bronto hide, you can critical damage, flanking, scales, fennec fur, nunk skin, and ram leather. So generally I don't find uh, flanking hugely beneficial, so I tend to avoid it. Um, but nug skin, we'll go ahead and drop that in there for some critical damage bonus. Well, when he criticals, we'll craft the item. Bued Deadly Enhanced Grip. That's okay with me. We can call it that. And um, here to modify weapons. We need to be with Solus. There he is. And he's got this one, Keeper Eye Staff. So we can do a grip. And we can um, put this one in there. So we want to confirm the changes. And now he's kicking butt and taking names a little better. So getting in good shape with those kinds of items. So... So that's how you can kind of keep on, on top of things. Check the armor here, see if we have any empty sl slots. Um, we need our Reinforced Apprentice armor. It has empty light legs. So let's see if we can build some some legs. Uh, craft armor. Modify armor. Medium armor uh, schematic. That doesn't help us. So defender armor is heavy. Scout coat is medium. And apprentice is light. So let's see if the defender armor is going to be good for Cassandra. We got a uh, 102 so, or 107. So if we craft armor, it's close. So now what we can do is we need 10 metal here. And if we do the Drake Stone 102, 102, so it's it's automatically going to be less. Um, in the utility section, so if we're going to make it less, what do we get? Four more constitution, four more strength, four more strength. So let's put some drake stone there. And it doesn't matter what we put here because none of it changes the armor rating. So we'll use iron because that's what we have the most of. And we will craft. 
say OK. And go to the inventory, armor. There it is. So, um, where'd it go? There it is. So empty heavy arms and heavy legs. And as we recall, we don't have either one of those. While we're in inventory, we can look. Um, armor schematics. Let's take a look. Scout legs and those were medium, so we don't have any heavy yet. So we're in pretty decent shape now. Um, for getting started here. So um, that's one of the big things we wanted to do was to uh, visit the blacksmith and kind of upgrade the our equipment um, to stay ahead of things. We are playing on nightmare difficulty, so. Uh, try to get every little advantage we can to stay ahead of the curve in this game. And if you do so, it'll be like I said early on. Um, the game won't get away from you. Uh, none of the combat will overwhelm you. Uh, I think I've died twice. Um, probably one of those is one too many times. But... Um, Mistakes can get made, and um, I'm trying to talk you guys through things. So sometimes I'm not paying the most attention <laughs> uh, that I could be during combat and things like that. Um, it happens even to the best of us. But uh, since this is not a permadeath game, you should be fine. Um, I thought there was some iron over here or something. Anyways, there doesn't seem to be. Just going to restock because we've been using a bunch. We'll grab some afterwards. So again, we want to <coughs> every time you come to Haven, you want to make sure you s swing by the tavern here. In case there's a, another new song. There's a lot of songs. And you need them. There we go. Uh, Patron of the Arts. You can see we're 6 of 21 now. Um, it's hard to get that trophy if you don't spend, don't visit. You don't have to spend time here, but at least visit this um, tavern, the Singing Lady Tavern, a few times. See, I'm grabbing all the elf fruit again. Go back in here and deal with the alchemist. We don't, I believe, have any upgradable potions at this point. This one's a no. Generation, no, no, those aren't open to us yet. Tonics, we have the rock armor, which grants 12 bonus to armor for 30 seconds. So we have one crystal grace, so either we can increase how long the rock armor works, or we can improve how much the armor is. So for me, I'm going to go for potency here. Uh, you can see it takes up 
most of the elf root we have already. And then potency too, we're nowhere near being able to do that. Grenades, we still haven't learned any grenades. Alright, so we need to continue on back towards the Chantry. Um, somewhere in here is some more elf root. There it is. Now you can see why earlier on I was advocating for picking up all you can pick up. Um, you need it for a lot of things, especially if you want to make sure you're your potions stay strong. Or they're as, as strong as can be. Uh, with the last one with the rock armor, uh, if your style is not wanting to have to worry too much about the um, your tank, certainly duration is a fine way to go. Um, because then once you take the potion, you don't have to worry about it. You know it's going to be there for a while. Um, I like it stronger because she's um, Cassandra was getting damaged quite a bit. And I was having to heal her a little too often. So I will, even though it's a last a shorter time, I want to make the sure that the strength of it is strong enough that she doesn't take too much damage. Um, when she gets hit or any damage at all so I don't have to worry too much about the the healing potions for her so we're turning in so you see weapon fragments removed too that builds up some more influence for us that's pretty awesome so nothing else to remove we got some damage against foot, foot soldiers that's good for us. Most of these people aren't going to have anything to say until we go to uh, Val Royo. Um, but we're not there yet. So I want to check out the war table, make sure that we've got everything done on the war table that we can. I don't believe we've opened up any other tasks for our um, counselors or our agents. But let's take a look just to be sure. We do have one perk available. All right, so did you see the message I, I wasn't confident yes, that we did, but you. we will. Um, if you remember, we're going to start with. Uh, we already got the uh, the five percent. So we're going to next do the underworld knowledge, and when we do that, you're going to see a big boost in experience points, because remember this is retroactive when you pick it up. Now let's go over here to Ferelden. So we grab some more coin. It's available. We can send somebody out again. I generally like sending Josephine on this thing. She's fastest and she tends to get the most gold. So nothing else is available. Watching or Orle, there's nothing else either that we want to deal with at this point. So if you want, we can you can fast travel from right here, um, right off the war table to where you want to go. So we'll head back. Um, Cassandra first, then Beric, and then Solus. I like to have my tanks in front. Um, that way the <laughs> setup is the same and I know who I'm looking at. Uh, last time we just grabbed all three real quick and then I had Barrack in the front so I was confusing him taking damage with my tank taking damage. Um, 
you can do it however you like. I prefer, um, like I said, to have the tank in the closest to the front slot that I can. Obviously, your PC will be, your player character will be in, in the most front area. Alrighty, so now as we're traveling back to the hinterlands, um, remember we're heading off to uh, Dennett's farm and the stables. We're going to try and pick up the last Astrium, and we're going to do some questing and finding some secret areas around um, uh, Dennett's farm. So I'll show you where those things are um, as well as we go So yeah, the loading screen is a loading screen. It does take a minute. Okay, and then um, obviously you start off right at the very first camp <laughs> where you um, have started before. So you see um, we need to go over there. We can speed it up a little bit by uh, going to this camp, but not very much. And for my two cents, I want to um, pick up elf fruit as we go along the way, uh, iron as we go along the way, all those um, supplies so that we can continue to boost our potions, our armor, our weapon upgrades, things like that. We have one elf fruit left over here. Drop down for one more. Right side of the tree. You can go up that left side if you want over there. Um, Generally, I come down this way so that I can come up along the edge of the rocks. There's some iron. And then I just come over here for some more iron. And I'll show you. We'll follow it up this way. Iron. There's this chest that we looted earlier. iron. We can grab it from above. And we know we still need a bunch of embryum, which we can find uh, close to the next camp along with the the blood something or other. Don't remember what they what they are called now. Um, plenty of elf fruit inside the castle here. We'll just take a quick jaunt through here to replenish a bunch of supplies. Because you remember uh, boosting the rock tonic took 18 of these elf roots. So although you might think this is tedious um, and maybe you're wanting to try completing this with the base level potions, you don't have to. It just takes a, a little bit of effort to grab some of these. Uh, it does add to your playtime, but if you're enjoying the game, um, I'm not sure why that would be a huge issue for anybody. But it's all up to you and what works for your game style. Far be it for me to tell you how to play a game in a manner that is most fun for you. I'm all about fun in games. So you can see with all that, we just grabbed a whole butt load. Of elf root. And there's the camp over there. 
that's iron. Nothing to report, sir. Let's check our potions. Okay, so we need to go to this table and punish all. Replenish and replenish all. So that just costs us a bunch of elf fruit because that's what it takes to replenish potions. That's fine. Oh, the blood lotus. That's the ones we'll grab here as we're running along. I believe the embryum is up this way. There it is. At least this game didn't come with any funky um, swimming mechanics. None of the water is deep enough for you to have to swim in. You can just run across it. Except for later on when we're in places that you can't cross the water at all. Which is like the ocean when we go to the storm coast. Things like that. So. Back to the West Road. Cleared out the camp, if you will, for the Templars. If you remember right, or remember left, or remember wrong, or whatever it is I was trying to insinuate that you were that you were doing. And then we'll hang it right here. More spindleweed, some nugs, and you can see flashing. There's a rift down here. But if we're careful about it, we can move along without really triggering it. We're not triggering it en enough to be a problem. We can just we can skirt it. or denim pants it, or whatever you want to call. So we discovered a new region. I forget there is another path up here somewhere, but we're trying to go over this way. This is one of the stronger ones. I guess we could have skirted from the other side. We, they're, they're sporting little red skulls. So this is a battle we're not ready for. I thought we could skirt it on this side, but I remember, misremembered, to be honest with you. So we'll head back. Oops, there's an elf root. And a spindle weed. We'll go around to uh, Dennis Farm the other way. So no harm, no foul. I'm used to bypassing that on the lower, uh, below it. That path up there goes to the spider and stuff. But I'm gonna work on our quest before we um, do all that. In the weed. A little shortcut through there. So 
where we picked up the quest, if you remember. We'll, so we'll continue on this way. And there's some wolves. Discovered another region. Some reason as being a target. No normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad, or perhaps the demon took command of the pack. Canine leather. Better than fennec leather in our builds, but still, it is just leather. I can sense elven magic somewhere nearby. chest. So where's some valuables? Back out we can go. Just take a quick jaunt around the building here. Which we'll be doing more of later when we get the our steed. the Fennec that got killed. Read this for, pick up another West. Search the northern hills. Let's mark the camp. It's right over there where the wolf is. So at the camp we have one more to go before we finish off that quest. Influence increases. And the rift is down that way. There, power plus one. Nothing to report on. I've wondered, how did you know to approach us, Sola? The breach opened. We and were you can see another rift up there that we'll have to deal with. And there you were. I went to see the breach for myself. I did not know you would be there. You must not have been far away. I was not. I'd come to hear the conclave, but did not want to get close. Hmm. Lucky for us then. Actually, have to get your AOE spell through <laughs> opening in the door there. 
Or the gate. Oh my gosh. Learn what's what. Difference between a door and a gate, please. A couple more canine leather. And then the poster right here. Another quest. Rescue the Druffalo. We will do that in a little bit. That's an escort quest before they became really bad. Thanks to games like WoW. It was just brutal. Mosaic piece. Let's go over here and visit the farmer or Senor Dent. Dennett. This must be the horse master. Did I? I was wrong. I thought I saw uh, some plants there for us. But in the meantime, we can loot what's around here before we do. There's some more of that higher weave for us. Talk to Bron. Speak to the master if you have business here. Speak to the master if you have business here. Okay, he'll give us a quest later on, or we complete a quest quest with him. But we have to deal with. Uh, Den it first. Oh, we need the perk Deft Hand Fine Tools, which is why I mentioned that um, earlier is one of the ones you'll want to do. We should one the of the area. ones you'll want to get. Let's pick up a bunch of elf fruit while we're at it. Bunch or at least a couple. You'll be wanting to speak with my husband. So again, same thing. We have to talk to Senor Dennett first. He should be in here. There he is. Let's rob him blind first though. Find some codex entries. There it is. There it is. Oops. Must be downstairs. On the wall over here, near where he's standing. Unfortunately, he's in the way, so we can't pick it up until he walks away. There he goes. Now we can talk to him. Name's Dennett. I served Al Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. Let me turn on the. It's unfortunate it doesn't have um, subtitle option in this game, but. Um, if you push the square, it um, allows you to see all the conversation instead of just skipping it right away. It's me. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? Because of what I said about mages? All the trouble magic's causing around here might well take a mage to fix it. That's all I meant. My wife Elena manages the farms, and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. So Until now we need to talk to those other two. Than whatever knock -kneed plow neck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden's border. Take care of him, 
and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Good to see you, Inquisition. Good to see you, Inquisition. Can ask a bunch of questions. Yes, a lot of families work our land. They work for us, and we take care of them. Elena knows the farms better than I do. Knows what they need. I imagine not being killed by anything would be a start, though. What can you tell me about the wilderness around here? It's got some old ruins in the forest from long before any king of Ferelden. The lakes are pretty. So when the weather's odd, you hear tell of spirits. Beyond that, my daughter Sienna set up a track just over there. Fool girl likes to race the horses. The refugees down at the crossroads could use your help. Right now, any food I give those luckless bastards might as well go to the rebel mages or bandits. Talk to my man Bron. He'll tell you what those folk need to protect themselves. Once that's done, I'll give as I can. I've no problem with charity, long as it's not wasted. You said you were once Al Eamon's stable master. Master of the mounts. Ferelden's don't appreciate horses like they do in Orlay, but they knew my name in Val Royale. My horses took sick less and carried a man longer than any of those fancy prancers they've got. You take care of my people, and I'll make sure your inquisition is riding right. Farewell. May to be with you. Okay, there we go. So let's start off by talking with his wife. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade, and they run. These beasts, though, it's, it's like darkspawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Okay, Farewell. so we need to kill some Good wolves. And Bron is back at the hut. Let's talk to him. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Okay, and watch out. Watchtowers we need to set up. Okay, so we can move off the quest for setting up camps. So let's go all the way up here to farmland security. Go back to the map and you can see the three spots. We have um, a quest over here now. We have to race his daughter or something like that. And we have to make three wide ranging trips to put up these um, towers that he wants up. So the first one's going to be over here. You can get close that rift if you want or you can just um, and this is a druffalo we need to find the missing one and bring it back over here inside here oh come on oh, let me jump the fence what the what I'll oh, say I did for a minute there all right well it's not gonna let me Jump the fence. Maybe you guys are a little better at platforming than I am. I see plenty of times I've complained about complained about platforming. It's not my favorite. 
I'm not very good at it. So this one is over here. So you can go down that way, but what we need to do is go up this way. Find a spot right here. Glowing stick like what we use to claim areas. some other quests and things we can find over here but we will deal with them in a little bit right now it's about putting up the watchtowers grab some elf root what made the mages come here of all places Spend a wee. Uh, let me recheck this map again. I think maybe we want to go around the other way. The Druffalo. We can't deal with him until we beat this rift. And that's the trouble with, so we could go that way and kill two quests with one stone. And again, we'll have to be careful of the rift. Rift back there. That's the one we had issues with before. And there's some other. We'll, when we come back, we'll go that other way. For right now, you want to stay on this right side and run along here. Plenty of spin to weed. Why are you jamming me up there on the hillside? So you can see if you go on the left, you, you can't make it over here. So we have some wolves over here that we need to deal with. Must be the wolves Elena spoke of. Must be. But we have to kill the pack commander, the pack leader, whatever you want to call it, werewolf. Um, which we will do shortly, just run around here, making sure there's nothing else to loot. As we head into this secret area, semi secret, kind of not secret area. Um, that cave could be Wolf Hollow. Strange wolf. Another area discovered. Go ahead and drop a save. And again, um, if you were following me before, uh, you can remember about uh, 
you know, on <laughs> secret areas. I it, it's somewhat familiar to a previous double platinum game I walked you through uh, called Thief. And um, unfortunately for here, we don't get the the chimes and stuff that you do in that game when you find them. Um, but fortunately, you don't actually have to find them in this game for a trophy like you do in that game. So pluses and minuses. There's two up here. Without shield. And, uh, this last leaping attack that they do. Another wolf. The demon dead. The farmers should be safe from the wolves. I expect the wolves are also. So you can see trouble with wolves is over as soon as you kill the demon. With that one, we'll, with that amulet, wolves no longer bother your your party. You can see we have one more red dot around here. So there's one more wolf we have to deal with. There he is. And there he isn't. So we dust him off. So let's get all the looting out of the way. Bunch of onyx, as you can see. Um, we're fighting on this lower level, but there is a path up right here. No fruit. And then you can see there's stuff up above up here too that we're going to want to take care of. So let's go do that. Let's take this ramp up. And then we can loot this chest. Got somebody left in the wolf den. Of course, it was only a dagger, so we don't care that they left it. It was valuable in the first place anyway. Grab some onyx. There's some loot over here. Some more of these crystal grace. And don't forget the crate. Grenade spell. Which you see finishes up the other quest we had in this area. We'll drop down, take a little bit of damage. Not the smartest option, but uh, sometimes I get lazy about doing things. So those two quests are done, and now we're back to the watchtowers. The watchtower quests. No 
nugs if you want to kill them. For the nug skin, the nug leather. There's another one. And we discovered the gully of burnt men. So that's the way down to the rift. And somewhere in here we'll find the missing Druffalo. Slip and slide. There he is. And that should have Slow walk himself. Druffalo, he'll follow us now because we ran upon him. We only can go a little bit at a time. You don't want to lose him. If you lose him, he runs all the way back to the starting point. Pain in the butt. And you want to avoid the rift with him. They'll just scare him. And then we have to fight these bandits. World wing, wind ring. All right, and back we go. To bring in the Druffalo with us. for him. I don't want to get too far ahead. You fight hard, Seeker. We would be dead if I did not. Truffalo is with us. on the demons, but we are in good shape with Mr. Druffalo the Buffalo or whatever. Dog Buffalo, is that why they call him a Druffalo? Not really sure myself.
just want to head over here to the road. Go follow us. Then we just need to get him back in his pen. Let me grab the elf root. Because you know we can't have too much elf root. Come on, Mr. Druffalo. We're strolling, strolling. Should be picking up some pace here. We're almost there. Here he goes. We need to put him in the far pen over there, like I mentioned earlier. Keep him on your mini map. So we can close out two quests. Talk to Dennett and his wife. Finish up two more quests. There's his wife. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. They That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. All right, quest completed. Another PowerPoint. There he is. Oh, I always always have to jump before we get to talk to anybody. Tell him about the Druffalo. The lakes are pretty. Beyond that, my daughter Sienna set up a trap just over there. Cool girl likes to raise the horse. Make her be with you. Let me check the journal. Dennett, the other guy that was in the field. Wow, how ridiculous of me to forget that. It's only been a decade since we played this game last. There he is. Thank you. I, I appreciate you finding her, and I'll see to it that this never happens. All right, there it is. Truffalo roaming completed. Josephine is back with some more cash for us. Oh, we need to um, light up our quests again. We'll find that one later. Right now we're going to do Farmland security. And then, um, of course, if you want to talk to Dennett's daughter and do the horse racing thing first, you can. Um, it's kind of an either or proposition which way you do it. Not a big deal, one way or the other. Here's the next high point for the security towers. Mark it, that leaves us one to go before Dennett will become an agent for us as well.
get the horses, etc., etc. Path of Exile game from Larian. Guy standing in water, we're blasting him with electricity. It's not hurting him. We're not giving him extra damage, which I would like to think it would. that we are in the money now here's a couple more elf root jumping ability elf root and then it's just on this high point you can see it up there behind the burnt out house See it up there. I thought the path was back here. So that's a new quest available at the at the war table. And you can see it says. this one yet. So let's mark that. And let's head on back. Yeah, so that um, homeland security there. Oh. Like we got some more ignoramuses to deal with, or not? There are our guys now, because we completed the watchtower the farms. Tricked you guys there, huh? For a minute, you thought we were like in some serious trouble. Later on that bridge will be nice and beautiful all fixed up
Excellent. Sudden we can't walk. Alright, five shards. We need two spot. I did not remember correctly. That one we found. That one we found. There's always one of these where the shards are tricky. There it is. stuff to do that way later on. We have the rift to deal with and there's a um, there is a path up there. So let's just go ahead and make a save. We've done quite a bit here. Let's see what we can do about this rift. Love your PC. There's one in the backpack there. So he's going to slow us, but I got you see, I got the shield up in time. It has me attacking the wrong guy. Droppings, lightning essence, that's good for us for uh, research ability. Let's go over here and claim this area. Ten of 17. And there's a bunch of stuff up this way. rivers and lakes and things that we have for quests.
failure delivery found. Influence increased. Then there's a little bit more down here. I forget where. Yeah. It's a region you need to discover. Quest. Wait, go back up. Let's change the journal. What do you say? light up this one. And it's going to be along this path right here. no XP. You can see you can stay down there following the river. And now we have our veil light. We want to look for another room. See that there's two baddies down here somewhere. There they are. our veil fire so we need to go back up here and get it got the mosaic piece so we can see. Scout. 
mail schematic. That's pretty nice for us. All right, Barrett, get the F out the way. And the interior here is similar to the um, interior by where we found the other the mages. There's the room. Frost room. Big thing was um, grabbing the room because you can later on we can put those in weapons. Which will be ever so nice for us. Alright. Now you want to come down to the lower path. Blood Lotus. See some iron. More spindle weed. Spindle weed. Kind of uncool of the bear to drag Cassandra off to this ambush, but that's fine. We're with it. you um, keep it with the guard up and at your barrier should be fine. I see the frost staffs aren't doing much to him. Weapon ring. We're getting lots of good Rogan as well. warrior of have never uh, weapons. Well, if they have, they certainly haven't shared Before we go over there, we'll the look out this magic. cave. Save that which mages bring themselves. Dwarves alone have the ability to mine it safely. I wondered if they had sought to learn more. Uh, the folks back in Orzammar don't care much about anything but tradition. Spin the weed. Woo woo. Couple more nice schematics. 
grab the elf root, and then we'll head to the quest marker. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, this was the way. Couldn't remember if you had to take the long way or the short way. So first things first, you get to claim an area. Get some bear claws. Grab the shard. There we go. enemies, but whatever. More things. Here we are with the Astrium. Astrium. Let's see what our picture is. It's the sailboat. Here. Let's see, they start dropping extra stars in just like they did before. That's fine. If you follow how I do it, you'll build the Astrium, Asterium, just fine. And now there's a cave. 
that we need to get the other shard. Okay, so let's check our journal. have going around for us right here oh, a couple of shards we got to do the horse racing here's another shard so let's just go ahead and turn on those those two shards so we can do them and then we got to go explore that cave side of the waterfall here. Stick kind of to the higher ground. Shard will be tucked in over here. There it is. Now you can drop back down. You can just run around the big circle like we're going to do. We're going to pick up the last shard. It is. Booyah. Okay, you gotta jump first before you can talk to her. What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You tried to write a course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time. I'll throw in some of the dress money Father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. Okay. Trophy, and we made uh, level seven. for the first one so we'll just have to let the time run out on us um, yeah these things are always kind of like a bummer for me but. We'll wait for the time to run out and then we will start again her to set up the course.
I just want to mount. I don't need to talk to her that many times. over here because I seem to be the last course is still not good if you'd like to try again okay there's my horse gate through the next gate. Why isn't it giving me credit? Come on. To hell. What a pain in the coon dinghy this one is, huh? as we go.
down. Back to another ring. Set up the next call. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. Looks like in reverse of the last one. So I was riding these races here. I think it's only three. I don't exactly remember. We got trapped by the tree. I think we were going left, but we were going right. Oh, we're really close on the time. Getting caught by that tree might have cost me the, the win. But not quite, we made it. Do I have to do? I'll be damned. You've mastered every course I set up. That was some riding. We did complete the first race here, so let me check the journal for what it's telling us we need to do. Uh, collections. So it's considered looked complete. So let's find the mercenary fortress. Uh, way over there. And what do we have over here? Philandris, yeah, yeah. When we get Philandris. Oh, there you go, quest completed. It took a moment for it to give it to us. Well, we did level up, correct? So wait for these things to quit popping for us. 
all three of them. Do do do. Okay, that's enough character record. So as the mana goes down, you get more damage. Or we can take Lightning Bolt, or we can take this passive right here. Which is, we can fire off our mana more often. But we'll take this one and apply. And drop a save. As it continues to ping us for finishing the In the Saddle quest. Yes, yes, we get it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe he's counting saddle swords from all that time we spent in the damn saddle. Who knows? Anyways, let's go into the last, well, not last, second to last section of the map we need to open up. last will be the red cliff area again we know we need bear claws I, we just saw one running past us I'm not sure where he is where he hid where he ran off to Embryum. Drake stone. There's more Drake stone right there. Embryum over here. disappeared to but whatever well, I guess he's back here somewhere Since weapons, that'll be good for us.
Roxanne was not doing her job. that somehow I targeted. Another warrior ring. Sidestep dagger. Stone business. This way, and we want to keep our eye out for bears because we need claws from three of them to complete one of our other quests. This is a transition to the next area. You can see it on the map there, the mini map. Guy to show up wherever he's at. There he is. And then we just bombard his silliness. Think you'll ever go back to Navarra, Seeker? Why? Are you eager to see me go? I wasn't, actually. But now that you mention it. it how do you know I wouldn't just drag you along? Please, fill my heart. I've grown on you. Like fungus. Afterwards. There's a bear. That's not good.
Sandra to go run off and, and grab two more that we did not need to be fighting. I don't know, might not let us outrun them. Looks like that's the case. So we're just gonna have to take our beating and like it. So that's a fight you don't really want to wind up with. Um, one bear at a time is enough. Three is too many. As you obviously saw. So let's get this thing back on track. Now we got punted by some bears. Hey, and while you're out there, and we're um, running this black screen, loading screen. Um, don't forget to friend and follow us on Twitch. Uh, like our videos, subscribe on YouTube. While I backtrack all this work I just did. Um, you can be in chat lolling me. be much appreciated for sure. So I want to sprint through here and see if we catch the bear running across again. All right, now we get all the quests completed. Oh, there he goes. Let's see if we can catch up to him at all. Nope. Awesome sauce. As the kids say. Let's make sure that um, it saved my. Yep, okay. Drake Stone and Drake Stone. Bear. That's my guys to initiate the battle.
completely rude. I thought it was throwing down a barrier, and it never went, although it... So it went out of my, um, my mana, my available spells, just completely disappeared. area unless you were supposed to never catch the bears in the first place which I find is kind of hard to believe but could be the case I suppose um, let's see if we can find that fade touched drake stone again last time we did not go that far not this time. If we have to fight three bears at once, I'm not sure what we're going to do. See the loot in the air there? Oh, but I can't get it. guys somehow even stunned they can teleport away. Somehow this guy who's lit up as a target was untargetable. And instead we killed a Fennec. They just jump out of nowhere and run you down like it's nobody's business. They tease you too by putting one guy right out in front. And then like three guys come running up from behind. Not sure how I can fix the AI to deal with that. 
with Cassandra picking them up. A day, whatever. What is it that I'm trying to say? Okay, so let's drop a save here. Um, thank you all for following along. I'm going to call the stream. You can see we're a couple hours in now. Um, don't forget to friend and follow us. Smash that like button on YouTube and subscribe. It's much appreciated. 2021, you guys be safe out there. We'll have another video coming very soon.